Hello and welcome to a Centipede Press unboxing. I was, just before hitting record, I was thinking to myself, I don't know which book is in here, because I'm expecting two shipments from them. But then I realized that Jared, or whomever shipped it, actually included the initials of the books in here, so I know exactly what's in here. Haha! I'm not going into this blind. So, in here is what we call a scratch and dent book. Uh, a little dinged copy. They have a scratch and dent page over on Cemetery... <laughs> Cemetery Ants. Over on Centipede Press... Dot com, and usually they're pretty good quality. This one, based on the initials HH, is a scratch and dent, scratch and dent, scratch and dent, not Judy Dench, dent copy of The Haunting of Hill House by Shirley Jackson. Uh, once again, to what come to expect with Jared, lots of bubble wrap inside, little packaging. Uh, being a scratch and dent one, it's probably going to be a box within a box, like so. Oh my god, I'm knocking the whole stand down. That's how big this box is. Let's get that out of the way. We don't need that. Stay. Wow, that got out of hand real quick. So, anyways. We have a box within a box. Uh, Jared apparently shipped to himself. Uh, so, very curious thing, you know. Jared... Chip to himself. Hooray! Not really sure what the story is there. You can ask him, I suppose. Probably came from like a publisher. Like this is probably from like a book binder or something. But anyways, one of the biggest regrets of 2020, other than the year itself, is I didn't get a chance to get the Haunting at Hill House, the Centipede, Centipede Press Edition. It was also published by Suntup. I didn't get that one either because I'm poor. And I wasn't able to get on the number train until after that. So when Jared uh, put this online, oh my god, I couldn't, I couldn't resist. I also got, by John McPartland, See You in Hell. Oh, we're dangling again. We're dangling. We're doing the dangles. I apologize. This is a train wreck so far. But you know what? All right, keep on trucking. Keep on, keep on chuglin', as CCR says for some reason. I don't really get that, but we're gonna go with it. We also have see you in hell, which I'm gonna get to in a minute as well. This is a numbered copy, it's signed. Uh, but first, oh god, oh god, I wanted to unbox this. Uh, it obviously doesn't come with the uh, capped slipcase that it came. They originally came with. Um, and it doesn't come with a signature sheet. This is an unsigned copy. But you know what? It was significantly more affordable than I could I could swing. I couldn't swing the uh, numbered copy. But, hot damn. Oh, hey, I'm in the reflection. Hi, guys. How you doing? It's me. Oh, we have the top edge stain there. Oh, we have a tear. And so, this was much more my price range. I wish I could get the numbered copy. Just like I wish I could get the Suntup edition. But, you know what? I'll take what I can get. And what I can get is still very nice. Comes with the Mylar protected dust jacket. I didn't think I would come with the Mylar one, but it still has that Mylar right there. Ooh, look at that. So, this is unsigned, but it does have the top edge stain. It's very nice. Look at that. And one of my favorite things of Centipede Press is the boards of the book. Oh my god! Look at that! Haunting of Hill House by Shirley Jackson. Their boards are always exquisite. I don't know, you can't really see that very well, but it kind of comes up. That is freaking beautiful, man. I mean, it's kind of dinged a little bit, but, I mean, that's the scratch and ding copy. That's what I was expecting. Whew. We have the end papers. Uh, we have illustrations by Matt, Matt Mahurin. I, pronounced, I'm pro I apologize if I'm pronouncing that wrong. Artwork throughout. There are all these tipped-in sheets of art. That's just a divider. Oh, my God. Even the page stock is beautiful. Like you, you can't really tell. 
I like that one. You can't really tell from the video, but that is quality page stock. That is some nice stuff. Uh, in the back is where you would have the signatures if it came with it. Uh, this was signed by um, Hearn. Oh, I wonder if that's why it's dinged. The, ba the end papers in the back are actually upside down. Unless it's supposed to be like that, I don't know. I haven't really seen pictures of the end papers of the non-signed one. This one's got a little bit of handwriting in it as well. Oh, I wonder if this is like a publisher copy or something. That's kind of unique. Hmm. Very unique indeed. I don't want to pull it too badly because you can see it's kind of tearing there. But that's where the signature sheet would be. It was signed by... Uh, Oh, it's got a little plastic sheet on it as well. That's really, really unique. This is what would protect the signature sheet if it had one, which was safe. <laughs> I keep getting distracted, which was signed by Kiernan and Matt Mahurin. And it probably had a facsimile signature from Shirley Jackson because they usually have the facsimile signatures in these titles. But oh my God. I apologize. I'm, I, I, I love this stuff. Lots of little goodies in the back. These are hand-drawn illustrations by Shirley Jackson. I mean, not originals, of course. It has an essay on it. Uh, Lawrence Jackson Hyman. That's the sun. As we know from the Sun Top edition of The Lottery. We have an essay by Stephen King. We have lots, lots of little goodies in here. Including that picture, which I absolutely love. Oh my god, though. That is beautiful. But wait, there's more... We also have John McPartland's I'll See You in Hell, a return to crime stories from Centipede Press. Uh, this one being a title I've never been, I had never heard of. I apologize for that. Well, to be brutally honest, I haven't heard of a lot of the whew, a lot of the crime stories. Like I had never heard of uh, Cornell Woolrich prior to Centipede Press. I mean, I know of him now. I, I, I mean, I was kind of a newbie. I didn't even know Jim Thompson. It's all Centipede Press. I'll see you in hell. Uh, it's, signed copies are still available. Uh, it's signed by... Ooh, 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 look at those end papers. Look how they shine! Let's take this off. Uh, we have a dust jacket by John Tedrick. Tedrick? Look at that cloth. Look at that. Look at those. Oh my god. Uh, I read that this is the first time in hardcover. That's an introduction by Dwayne Swierzynski. Swierzynski. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Swierzynski also signed the book, of which is number 68. So John Tiedrich, which is a very unique signature. Look at that. Very unique indeed. Uh, signed copies are still available online. They're very affordable. And uh, you can actually get a couple of other titles with it, I believe, for cheap. But damn, it's quality. Nice little page ribbon marker as well. Man, that is a good box. And I hope I'm getting another box of Centipede Press very soon. Uh, so one of the reasons I couldn't afford Hill House, apart from the fact that I'm poor, is that I was also saving up money for another Suntop, that's, well, Suntop, I'm always saving money up for. Another Centipede Press title as well, uh, which was Something Wicked This Way Comes, which is eventually coming to me in the mail. It's from Ray Bradbury, signed by Neil Gaiman, of course. Uh, I'm looking forward to that once it does eventually arrive. Unfortunately, these scratch and dent copies are no longer available. You can find them on the secondary markets. As I said, I'll see you in hell which is the name of the title and not my personal statement to you, although I will certainly be there uh, in hell eventually. So maybe we will see each other. Who knows? I'll See You in Hell is still available uh, on Centipede Press. Signed copies are available. Got a little scuzz right there, but that'll come off. It's like just some shipping gunk. And uh, Dune is coming up as well, which I am way too goddamn excited about. I'm, I'm getting that whole series. I'm going to fight people for that. I'm getting that whole series. So, uh, yeah. God damn. This was such a good book uh, to come home to. So glad I managed to get a copy. 
Uh, if anybody out there has, you know, an extra slipcase, trade slipcase for some reason, they're like, man, or they have a copy of the slipcase from Hunting Hell House and say, you know what, I only want the book, I don't want the slipcase. Tell them to hit me up, because, man, I would love the cap tray case. It's got the lenticular uh, cover in it, from what I've heard. It just looks beautiful. But I will still settle for this book. Oh, my God, is it a treasure. This video has gone on really long. I apologize. But seriously, look at these books. Look at them. Well, until next time, until the next box arrives, uh, which should be soon-ish, hopefully. Uh, we'll see you around. Thank you much.